And you finished the project of naming the genes, right? That book you talked about that would stretch from the floor up actually through uh, this beautiful facility is now all been laid out, all the 3.1 billion letters of our own instruction book. Phenomenal. And it is a phenomenal transition from not knowing that information for all of human history to now we have it. And the promise for that, for transforming the practice of medicine, giving us insights into the causes and cures of disease. And it, this ability to read our own instruction book and use that information for medical benefit is unlike anything we could ever have before. You believe in eternal life? I do. Why? Because I believe in God the Creator and I believe His Word. That was not always so. You believe in the Bible? I absolutely believe in the Bible. If the genome is the most wonderful biological book of life, the Bible deserves reference even more as the spiritual book of life. And I find no incompatibility between those two worldviews, the spiritual and the scientific. In fact, I think they're entirely in harmony. And it breaks my heart when you hear from shrill perspectives on either end of the current debate that if you're a scientist, you can't be a believer, or if you're a believer, you can't trust in science. I am both of those things. I find that enormously satisfying. I find that doing science is also a way of worshiping God Almighty. Well, my atheism was a convenient one, and I think that's often the case, particularly for young people. It was easier for me not to have to answer to anyone but myself. I kind of liked that concept. It was a, a willful blindness to considering any of the arguments in favor of faith, and I didn't have a foundation to convince me otherwise. <clears throat> so I became an atheist. But then I went to medical school, and I watched people in very real situations who were suffering from very real diseases, not of their own making, and I saw what a rock of strength many of them had in their faith and that puzzled me and when one of my patients a wonderful woman I was taking care of one afternoon in North Carolina turned to me and said what do you believe oh I realized I didn't quite have an answer Ooh. and I realized I'm a scientist you know I'm supposed to make conclusions after considering the evidence I've never looked at the evidence I better get out there and learn more about faith so I can be sure I don't believe it. As I set about to try to disprove faith, I became aware that the logic of the matter was much more consistent with the existence of God than with him not being real. And then I read the pages of the Bible. I learned about the historical figure of Jesus Christ, and I gave my life to Jesus Christ, and I've been there ever since.